Everyone, welcome back to the NFA Review Channel. Today we're going to take an in-depth look at the Bowers Verse 9S. But before we dive into this can, I want to let everybody at home know I am now an affiliate of silencershop.com. Long story short, what that means is they can send a suppressor directly to me, I can do a review on it, throw it back in the box, mail it back, and we're done. Uh, so I'm going to do this as well as work with manufacturers directly, uh, whoops, <laughs> like I've done uh, for many years. So nothing's really changing, just want to let you guys know that uh, some of the reviews I'm going to be doing from now on will be uh, suppressors directly from Silencer Shop. Other than that, we're still going to remain factual based. I don't like to give you too much opinion on the suppressor uh, other than some comments at the end of the video. All right, let's get to it. Those of you at home that might not be familiar with the name Bowers, it has been around for quite a while. Uh, Tom Bauer started this company back in the late 90s. It is now under the name Bowers Group LLC. So basically what Tom did is he set out to create the world's uh, best full auto rated sub gun can that also exhibited low blowback. So high volume, low blowback, sounds great with super and subsonic 9mm sub gun rated. Uh, that's a mouthful. So anyway, it gets its name, the Verse 9S from, well, Versatile 9S stands for the short can, the shorter of the two. Uh, there is a larger one. I couldn't imagine a can bigger than this. This is big enough for me here. Um, this one does an exceptional job uh, for what it was designed to do. It comes in at a length of 8.6 inches, a diameter of 1.75 inches, and weighs 15 ounces, which I know I say this a lot, but it's pretty impressive for a can of this size to come in at under a pound. As far as the finish, it's a black anodized, or they do have a new black ceramic finish. It's rated for 22 long rifle, 300 black subsonic, 762 by 39 subsonic, and of course, 9 millimeter. Now they do have a different baffle stack. Uh, this one has the aluminum version. There is a stainless upgrade you can do. You can check out the prices on the Silencer Shop website. But basically, for this upgrade, it will handle um, supersonic 300 blackout. All those specs define a can that is serviceable by the factory. I don't think it's end user serviceable. You really don't need to service this can on our level that much. It's very high volume, uh, but since it is low back pressure, the stack is designed to blow a lot of the uh, carbon and, and unburnt powder out the front of the can. Um, but if you do need, if you, if you feel it should be cleaned, you're getting paranoid about it or you feel you have a baffle strike call up Bowers and they will let you send it in for a cleaning or a repair for 20 bucks the 20 bucks just covers the shipping and insurance on your suppressor um, so I'm pretty excited guys I don't know about you guys at home I really want to hear what this thing sounds like on this mp5 this thing has had a lot of hype behind it over the years for just being that golden standard of just how perfect a sub gun uh, can sound if size and weight is not an issue. So without further ado, let's get to it. All right, we made it out to the range. We're gonna go ahead and put this Bowers can through its paces. We'll do the usual unsuppressed and suppressed profile view. Uh, we'll move the stereo mic to the muzzle view and then we'll do a target view location. I'll shoot it from probably 50 yards away or so. So let's see just how this thing performs.
15 round supersonic followed by 15 rounds of subsonic. Well, everybody, hope you guys enjoyed the video today. This can did exactly as advertised. It is a high volume can for subgun fire. Sounded great. No, no port pop here. No first round pop. If you have a Mac 11 at home or an MP5 that you're looking to quiet down, definitely give this can a good hard look. And make sure you check out Silencer Shop's website because I'm pretty sure they already have this in stock on Form 3, ready to ship to your dealer. Another shout out to Rubber Dummies. Guys, when I'm trying to review suppressors for you, if I shoot steel all day, it's gonna take away from the experience. You guys are trying to learn uh, about the report on this can. If I shoot steel, it's gonna ruin that experience. So when this product comes in handy, because not only do I have something to shoot at, but uh, I'm sure it sounded pretty cool. Uh, when I place the camera down range, hearing the bullet whizzing through the rubber here and slapping into the railroad ties behind me. Um, so really cool product and Freedom Munitions as well. Huge shout out to them. They do a lot to save my channel money so I can pump these reviews out for you guys. So go ahead, click the description below. I'm going to have all the links and all the sponsors and the promo code as usual is always NFA review. Again, click that like and subscribe button if you like what you saw because I have a ton of more reviews coming for 2017 and you're going to want to stay tuned. See you next time.